These are difficult days for the Colorado Springs Philharmonic. Live events are prohibited because of the pandemic, but ticket sales, uh, the group's main source of funding, is drying up. News 5's Andy Cohen tells us the orchestra and musicians union have been negotiating since their contract was canceled two months ago. The sounds of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic have been silenced by the COVID pandemic. We appreciate our musicians. We are, we're huge fans of theirs. They are the Philharmonic after all. Um, but unfortunately, this pandemic has put us all in an impossible situation. Concert ticket sales are their primary source of revenue, and with live events prohibited, the cash flow stopped. The musicians are ready to work tomorrow uh, with an agreement in place, and we hope that cooler heads can prevail. This has not been um, referred to arbitration yet. The Philharmonic and its musicians union had just signed a new contract in April, but by then the stay-at-home order was in full swing. The orchestra used PPP loans and other government relief to pay the musicians through the end of the summer, but then canceled the contract in September. We hated doing that. We actively avoided canceling their contract for many months. We paid them their full salaries through the summertime just to get them by, but we knew that wasn't sustainable for the long term when there are no concerts. The musicians offered to restructure the contract, giving up their salaries through the end of the pandemic, plus another six months, but their offer was rejected. We said we would work on a um, per service basis, um, meaning as, as concerts are scheduled and rehearsals are scheduled, you, you would pay us for those services, um, but we would forego our normal salary um, basis of payroll. The sides had been in mediation up until Thursday when talks broke off. This dispute could go to court, but both the musicians and management say they'd prefer not to. Always watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5.